Welcome to Learning with Linux. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about file structure, and we're going to look uh, in depth at Microsoft and Linux and compare both of them. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, in Microsoft, and hopefully you're familiar with this, uh, there is typically the C drive uh, at the highest level. Now, you may also have a W drive, an H drive, when you uh, add in an external hard drive, uh, that may be a, a B drive or a D drive. When you add in a, a, a jump drive, uh, that may come in as an F or H, uh, depending on your system and how it's set up. But anyway, in, in Microsoft, typically the highest level that you're working on is the C drive. Now under that, you've got program files, temp, users, and windows. And if you're not familiar with this part, uh, you will, you'll understand it here in just a moment. But anyway, all these are linked together. So under the C drive, you've got typically these four folders and, and maybe a few others. Underneath users, because that is the, uh, the one that you typically save documents in, uh, you've got a public uh, folder, then you've typically got one set up for you as a user, and I've got that listed here as me. Uh, then there will be other users on that system. So, you know, it might be one for Bill, Mary, whoever else is using your computer or your system. So, so those are all linked together or under users. Now, under me or under whatever your name is or whatever you've named your folder, you'll have the things that you're probably a little more familiar with. So you've got downloads, documents, pictures, videos, and a number of other things there, music, so on, etc. The main one that you're probably the most familiar with is the documents or my documents. So when you are working on a document and you go to save it, that is typically where it is saved. So let's go ahead and draw the next level in there. So you can see that all of these folders are under you or in this case the me folder so if i'm under me if i'm under if i'm logged in as myself i can't see uh the other persons uh, or the pub well the public i can see those are open to anyone to view but under others if i don't have the correct access to it i will not be able to see those so Let's keep moving here. So again, under documents, because that's the one that most people are familiar with. You'll have a number of folders that you set up under that. So I've got it highlighted here just to, to help so you can see in, in most cases you're working under this documents folder or sometimes it's called my documents. So when you are working in Microsoft Word, if you're working in just about anything else and you try to save something, Often that is where uh, the system default is. And you can change that under control panel, but I'm not going to get into that here. You can uh, establish where you're going to save your documents and so on. Or uh, when you go to save them, you can decide um, and select a different folder to save things. So with that, let's move on to Linux for a moment. So the Linux file structure starts at root, and this is a backslash, if you will. Under that, you've got bin, etsy, lib, tmp, home, mnt, usr. So let me describe those a little bit. And again, those are all linked underneath that root, uh, root level, if you will. So the, the bin often has, so, uh, it has the, uh, the common system programs. Uh, the etsy folder. Uh, has some of your configuration files, kind of like control panel, save some of those settings. Uh, the lib has your library files. Uh, those are needed for a number of different programs. Uh, TMP or temporary. Now one cautionary item here is that anything that you place in the TMP folder, uh, upon reboot, that folder is cleaned out. So you don't want to save things under your TMP folder for obvious reasons. Under the home folder, that is where a lot of your information is kept, the user directories. Uh, MNT, that is mountings for CD drives, flash drives, cameras, so on, etc. So instead of bringing in uh, the uh, 
B drive or D drive or so on, etc. F drive, H drive, uh, those are mounted under MNT. USR, so user, that is some of the user programs, libraries, documentation, and so on. Uh, so for, for user uh, related programs, so if you add some programs to your system, that's where a lot of those files are. So with that, let's move on. Under the home directory, and we'll show that relationship here, you can see that, again, I've got a folder listed as me. I've got a, in this case, a user two, a user three. So uh, there may be multiple uh, user accounts, if you will, set up on, on a particular Linux system. So under me, we've got some of the same stuff that you're used to. Downloads, documents, pictures, videos, so on, etc. So very, very similar. So when you go to save things, often you want to save them under your documents folder. Unless you're working with pictures or videos, you can put them wherever you want. The system does not necessarily dictate where you put them. It just has these folders set up to help you try to keep your stuff organized. So again, underneath documents, what I've got here is just three different folders shown. So again, the path that, that you will be most familiar with or utilize the most is, is this, the root, home, uh, your username, documents, and whatever folders that you set up from there. So let's look at those again and, and compare both of them. So the systems are very, very similar. In a Microsoft system, it calls the highest level typically the C drive. And in the Linux, it's a backslash or the root directory. So other than that, the structures are set up very similarly. Uh, in Microsoft products recently, uh, they've been trying to make things simpler and they just save things in a folder or a location without necessarily asking you where you want to save them, especially when you get into Windows 8. Uh, and you're starting to use apps and other things, which again, try to make things simple. But if you don't know where your documents are saved, and I've run into this many, many times, uh, a number of individuals will save things and, and ask me, hey, where did this thing go? I can't find it. I've been looking for a long time. I've used search. I still can't find my documents. It's best to, to familiarize yourself a little bit with file structure. And hopefully this video will get that ball rolling. So with that, uh, I encourage you to uh, sign up on our, uh, our YouTube channel. Um, we will be coming out with more and more helpful videos. And have a great day.